Right now the ship is heading directly into the eye of a catabatic event. Uh, we've got 70 knot winds outside. We're probably um, 10 to 15 miles from the coast. And uh, it's quite impressive after being in the sea ice pack where it's been relatively calm, we're now back in a very wavy environment. But unlike normal waves in the ocean, these waves are covered in ice. We've come at a very interesting time of year. It's the, the freeze up, if you like, when the Antarctic sea ice pack is growing. Um, we've come to a, an ice factory where an intense amount of sea ice is being formed, in part due to the freezing temperatures, but mostly also due to these very strong catabatic winds. These winds have the effect of pushing away the new sea ice growth and allowing more sea ice to form. I'm working as part of an autonomous underwater vehicle team uh, set up by Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution and Northeastern University in Boston. I've also brought along a variety of uh, unmanned aerial systems that have come out of the Terra Luma group at the University of Tasmania. Uh, together these, uh, these kind of exciting new platforms are looking at new ways of expanding our observations above and below the sea ice.